Welcome back to NC Bass, and today I'm just out here winging it. This pond, I've been fishing it too much. I thought the rain was done. We just had a big storm blow through, you know, now it's still raining. I'm probably about to get soaked and wish I would have brought a raincoat, but last week when after a storm rolled through, these fish were killing at this pond, so I'm hoping they still are. I, I brought four rods, no tackle. Hopefully I can catch them. I got a buzz bait, a chopo, a chatter bait, and a wacky rig cinco. Hopefully I can catch them. This pond's been good to me lately. I need to let it rest, but hopefully I can catch a big one. There's a lot of two pounders in here. There's two giants over six pounds. Let's see if I can catch them. Oh my God. What was your problem, fish? Why do you... They want it reeling it in. Fuck. There he is. Oh yeah, nice one. How big is he? I had one just, oh that's way, that's a giant. That's way bigger than the one that just followed up my, oh my God, that's a huge fish right there. Are you kidding me? Giant, and don't even have a scale with me. Oh my God, on the chatterbait. I just had a fish just miss the wacky rig Cinco. I'm gonna tell you right now, it wasn't that fish. Bent, look at what he did to my chatterbait, guys. That's why you gotta get a better chatterbait. Z-Man will bend out. Look at the size of that giant. I think it's a six pounder. Is that the six pounder or the nine pounder? Either way, it'd be eight, because it's skinny. I gotta get a... It might be a whole different fish too. That is awesome, man. I thought like a 14 incher just sw swiped at my chatterbait and I missed it. Man, what a giant. I don't have my scale with me. I only have a tackle box. Well guys, that's what you call a giant right there. Don't have my scale on me. I think it's the one that was 6.1, but I mean, look how big this fish is. It's probably six and a half. I mean. I want to call it seven, really. My scale's way off anyways. I'm not going to run home and stress this fish out. Like I did the big one, I didn't have my GoPro, so I went home and got the, I mean, I live. I wish I had my scale on me, but that's a giant. It's probably the same one. It could be a different fish though, guys. You never know. I would say that's a seven pounder. It's a giant. I'm happy with it. Let's get her back in the water. I ain't got a bite all day, but after a rainstorm in the summer, guys, that's when you catch a big one. Back in the day, I caught an 8.7 out here right after a thunderstorm. First big fish on a frog. Let's get her back in there. Summertime, you got to get these fish back in the water quick. Let's get her back in there. Guys, I did not expect that. He started pulling, and I thought I was just overestimating how big the fish was. I really did. Hold on, fish. Oh, she's got plenty of fight. Woo! Got soaked. I thought for sure, I thought for sure that was the little guy. I mean, it was a nice fish, like a two-pounder. Followed up my wacky rig Cinco all the way up. I threw back out when I was reeling it in. So I was like, well, maybe I need to throw a chatterbait because they're biting moving baits. Threw the chatterbait through our next cast. He thumped it. Just like that second biggest bass of my life on the other side of this pond. I love this pond. That just shows guys catch and release works. I caught that same fish. I'm pretty sure it's the same fish. Caught it twice. Big giant. I caught it a few weeks ago. It's probably been like a month, a little over, over a month. Big giants in here. I love this pond. Yes. Couldn't catch a fish all day and went all the way around this pond no bites I was starting to give up i really was over here waiting until it stopped raining to have to walk back through the rain because the trees were guarding me from the rain i got lucky there that's a giant yes and guys look what she did to this chatterbait had the right baits fuzzy beaver on the back of it as a trailer works great i like to throw like a crawl there's bluegill in here so that really mimics the bluegill great and that's what these fish eat and that's and this 
chatterbait moves a lot of water at bluegill if you ever spook bluegill you'll see that they they make a huge wake and they move a lot of water so ponds where they or places where they feed on bluegill which is about everywhere you want something that moves a lot more water but look what he done to that brand new chatterbait brand new bent that hook straight out i hooked him in the tongue i'm lucky it didn't get off i was just like i gotta pull where i was at there's no place to get down there and lip it without getting in the water and it's real slow. i just had to slide him up on the grass and he was a good ways out there that really fish really surprised me i didn't want to sound like an idiot but he felt huge right off the bat but i thought for sure it was that two pounder i was like how big is this fish and then i seen it and knew it was a giant love throwing a beaver bait on the back of a a chatter bait everybody thinks you gotta throw a swim bait they do work but i want something with a wider profile and put it on there sideways you get a real good bluegill profile well guys it's slow here's two bass i caught the other day at the other pond i put my john boat in check this out there we go chopo got a fish it's not big, but the camera was gone. Yes. Pretty worried about the chopo. We'll take him. It didn't even take long either, really. Almost a full moon last night, so it's making me wonder if they're only really going to bite. But water's muddy, so. It's a nice one. It's an okay one. I knew there's a fish following it. There we go. Even the drop shot, I gotta reel it in to get a bite. Well, I left my whole pack of these finesse shads at the house. I got lucky to not lose this one, but Z Man said they're pretty much indestructible. It's been over an hour since I caught the last one. I was about to give up. He's got a broken spine. Little guy about the same size as the last one. Something that I cannot get bit on top water. That's all I could catch that day. That pond's been tough on me. This pond has been my bread and butter. I feel like I'm fishing it too much, but when you're pulling out giants like that, it makes you keep coming back. I know there's one even bigger in here. That's what's crazy. If you guys got the money, I'd recommend buying a jackhammer or something where the hook won't bend. Cause that fish almost got off if it had been hooked in a different spot he'd got that hook was wide open got lucky to get him in and that could cost you if that would have been a 10 pounder i probably would have lost it but i caught it uh, i always use the original cheap ones and they've got they caught me some big fish but that was close it could happen and i'm only using 12 pound floor if i was using 20 pound floor like i should be i really would have bent that hook open so you guys if you got the money get the better quality either a thunder cricket or the jackhammer better quality bladed jig There he is. Oh, is that what hit my chatterbait? And I could not get a bite on the, the weighted one. Luckily, I brought extra hook and it was weightless. So I thought I might not like the weighted one. But I was wanting to fish it faster than I have been. That can't be what bit my chatterbait a second ago. I had a bite on the chatterbait. There's one. I'm about to fall down with the fish coming at me. There we go. I knew there had to be one on this spot. They're just out deeper. The water's dropping even though we had all this rain, but I think the dams is the, this is cleared out because it had all that grass in it. I had two bites. I just missed one a minute ago because I wasn't paying attention. There's a decent fish on a Cinco. Had to go weightless to get one sun's coming out i was about to wrap it up and leave but i knew i could catch one at this spot but usually where the water's coming in is where i catch a lot of fish but the water's dropping very fast so these fish are scattered he was way out in the middle of the pond pretty much these fish are scattered out deeper i'm just glad to get that fish though Let's see if i caught him recently love this pond Well guys, finally caught my third fish. Two laps around this pond is all I'm gonna do. I had to painfully, the, I had to painfully slow fish the wacky rig to catch that one. They're out deep. I probably could catch them more doing that, letting it drop like six or seven foot deep, out deep where the fish are and catch them. But these fish weren't even on 
cover or nothing. I always think about a chatterbait, using it on cover. I actually caught that fish in open water. On the side, I usually don't fish. It's so hard to fish with those overhanging trees over there. But luckily, it was raining and made me go over there. I actually made another lap around trying to catch them over there. It was tough today. Not many fish, but I've been fishing this pond too much. That's what it's all about. If I knew I could only catch one or two pounders at a pond, I wouldn't go to a pond. It's not nearly as challenging as a lake, but there's always that chance you can catch a giant. There's a fish in here bigger than that. There's probably fish in here I don't know about, but that fish, is a, it, I think it's like a seven pounder. My scale's off. If it's the same one I caught like a month and a half ago, that was 6.1, 23 inches. To me, that fish looks bigger. I'm, I'm bad about weighing big fish, but I'm pretty sure that's like a seven pound fish. It was a giant. It definitely wasn't the big giant, the second biggest fish of my life. You know, she might be skinnier now, but that's what I needed to get my confidence up. August is tough. Catch a big one like that has made it great. And it shows guys chatterbait, really mimics a bluegill good. And I always think about throwing it around cover, but you can catch them open water. I usually need wind to throw in open water, but that fish was near some stumps, but it was out past them. Who knows what's down there though? It could be some cover, but you can catch fish on chatterbait in open water. It mimics a bluegill very well. As you guys can see, I've caught two giants out of this pond. I'm gonna link that big, my second biggest bass of my life in the description below. You guys can check that out. Not that great of a video, but it was a big fish. Chatterbaits obviously work. Next video will probably be me on the Tuesday tournament at Lake Norman. We're about to get a cold front this weekend. You guys are probably going to kill them while I'm at work, but it should still keep the fish biting next week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.